Lord. Yet another tutorial on the world of Minecraft. This one being on the Bucket Server plugin Mine Reset Lite. What I'm going to do with this one is just show you how to set up a basic mine and a few other things to do with the mine. Okay, let's get started. As you can see in front of me, I've set out a bedrock casing which I'm going to have my mine inside of. You guys have to do this. The only reason I do it like this is because I run my server on a prison server and I don't want my players escaping through the bottom of the mine. So bedrock obviously will stop them getting out. Also this would be in a world, a separate world guard region, the bedrock area, and that would be protected. But you, got, you guys don't have to do any of this. You can play around with it, plug in and put the mine wherever you like. Okay, the first thing we need to do is set the points of the mine. There's two ways to do this. By using the in plugin commands, which is position 1 and position 2. I don't like to do that. I like to use the world edit wand. I just find it easier. So let's get up the world edit wand with double slash wand. This will give you the default tool, the wooden axe. Okay, now I want my mine to be inside this bedrock area here, you can see. So we'll place a block of stone in the top corner here. And we'll go to our wand and we'll left click it. That will set that first block of stone as position 1. Then we'll drop down into the mine and we'll go to the opposite bottom corner and we'll place a piece of stone there. Back to the wand and this time we'll right click. So left click. Yeah, and we'll go back up here just back up to this one and we'll right click. There we go. Position 1 and position 2 set. Okay, we'll come back outside the mine. Or what is going to be the mine and the next thing we need to do is actually create our mine so to get out the, the list of commands up with mine reset light you go mrl and you can go help which will give you the list of commands that you can use just here okay and the one we want is mrl create so we'll mrl create and the name of the mine, we'll call it test. There we are, mine test saved. So now inside this bedrock area is our mine area and it's been created. So now what we need to do is fill our mine. And to fill your mine, what you need to do is forward slash MRL set. Oh, set name of your mine, ours is test. And the next thing is the block. The type of block you want to put in. So you need to use the block ID. So the first one we'll use 15, which is iron ore. The next bit is how much of the mine you want to be iron ore. Maximum being 100%. So you've got to get the percentages within 100%. So we'll put down 2% of iron ore this time. 2%. And hit enter. Chest is now 2% iron ore. Okay, obviously, as you can see, you can't see the iron ore. So every time you add a new block, you need to reset the mine. So we'll go forward slash MRL reset test. And there you can see it. It's 2% of iron ore within 100% of the mine. Okay, we'll go ahead and add one or two more blocks. So we'll go MRL set test. This time we'll use 16, which is coal ore, and we'll do 2% of coal ore as well. Hit enter. And we get again 2% of coal ore, which is MRL then, reset, test, and there you can see it again, 2% of coal ore, 2% of iron ore. Okay, now we'll go ahead and fill the rest of the mine in. So we'll go MRL, set, test, 1, which is stone, and we'll do 96% of stone. Is now 96% done. Again, we have to reset it, so it's MRL reset test. And there we have the mine, which is full of stone 96% stone, 2% iron ore, 2% coal ore. Okay, next thing we need to do is determine when the mine resets. So, what we need to do for this is add some flags. So to do this, you need to go MRL flag test, which is the name of the mine. And the next part is 
the flag that you want to add. In our case, we want to add reset reset delay. Sorry. And then the next part is how often you want the mic reset. We'll put five, which is five minutes. Hit enter. Test will reset every five minutes. Okay. The next flag we want to add is the warnings. So it's M R L flag test reset warnings you can add as many warnings you like you can have one at a minute before the mind resets you can have one at four minutes before the mind resets I'm just going to put one in at four minutes if you wanted to add two you'd put comma and then add one at one minute as well so for instance say hit enter test warning list has been set before now you'll get a warning, the players will get a warning at 4 minutes and one at 1 minute before the mine resets just so they don't get stuck in there and suffocate. Okay, and another flag we're going to add, see the surface here you see, you can see the coal and the iron on the surface, well you don't really want to do that because you want your players to have to dig to get some stuff immediately they came in here, the first thing they do is dig at the iron, dig at the coal and get some stuff without even trying so you want to cover them up so you want the whole surface to just be one block so it's MRL flag test surface then the type of the block we'll go one which is stone okay surface block has been set obviously we need to reset the line MRL reset test and as you can see Actually, let me just uh, make it day so we can see what we're doing. There we go. And as you can see now, the whole surface of the mine is one stone. So there's no seeing what they're digging. They actually have to dig. Okay. And there we have it. That's pretty much everything. I'll just, if we just dig down, see, you can dig away. Find some iron. Obviously, I mean purposes tutorial I'm making it easy for myself just knocking away and then another good feature of this plugin is you're digging away you're digging away you're mining obviously it's not going to reset in time so I'll reset it manually MRL reset so see we're digging and the mine did reset it takes you straight back to the top that is one of the good features of this plugin that I like some server owners will have that turned off so you may suffocate but I like my players to be able to enjoy mining so they don't don't suffocate so I have actually have that enabled on my server well guys that's about everything for mine reset light that you need to know to set up a working automatic reset in mine I don't think there's much more else for me to say about the plugin apart from it's an absolutely fantastic plugin if used properly Okay guys, well, I think that's everything for me that you need to know, so all that is left for me to say is don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time in our next tutorial.